that's not that's that was not the intent. William says he and a panel of other union members tried to voice their concern over the distribution plan with Mason months ago. As a matter of fact, when we disagreed, when the panel disagreed with the union president, she relieved us of, of our duties uh, for the distribution because we didn't agree with her. Under the settlement agreement, Mason was supposed to notify employees of the distribution plan in advance. Williams and Gillis say that didn't happen. And according to documents reviewed by the reveal, Mason never submitted a claim for OT, but she's still eligible to receive thousands of dollars under the settlement terms she alone approved. She's, she's a person who benefits from this because she did not have a claim for overtime. She told me that herself. I think what, what, what the president has done is for personal gain. Mason declined interview requests, writing in an email that this is an internal union matter and I have no comment. On the union's website, she wrote to members that your union stands by the formula and calculated payment amounts as being fair and equitable. Other CDC employees see it differently. Well, where does the union president get off on being the sole person to make a decision to give more money to people who didn't work overtime, cap off people who actually did have an overtime claim so that many of them who may have worked a lot of overtime are going to be shortchanged. Some employees are now considering filing a complaint with the U.S. Labor Department. Yep. When you see me in misery. Jason Estevez, Atlanta Public School Board of Education Chair, says we need to remember we are still in the midst of a pandemic. In fact, he predicts what we are seeing at Drew Charter School in Atlanta is what we are about to see at schools across the country as kids make their way back into the classrooms, many for the first time in a year and a half. What I can tell you is that what they face is what school districts across the country will be facing in the coming weeks, which is a Delta variant that is very contagious. Uh, very challenging to contain. Earlier this week, news broke more than 100 students at Drew Charter had to be quarantined less than two days after school started. Screening testing caught three students and two staff members prior to school starting. That number has since been revised to 10 students and six staff members. Of the six staff, we understand only one is known to be vaccinated. Which is why it's important and why public health officials are saying that the more mitigation strategies, the better. Right. They, they talk about the Swiss cheese approach. Uh, Swiss cheese, each slice has holes in it, but if you put them together, hopefully it protects against uh, the spread. APS has been consistent in their stance for mask mandates throughout the summer. And now with the start of classes, after reviewing the CDC's latest guidelines, Estevez says in light of the surging Delta variant, APS is standing strong behind the mandate, a decision he says the school system did not take lightly. Not an easy one, but one that follows science. And that's the main thing we've been trying to do this whole pandemic is, is to follow the recommendations of health experts. As it stands right now in Metro Atlanta, Clayton County, DeKalb County, APS, and just recently, Gwinnett County just reversed their mask mandate to fall in line with the CDC's latest guidelines. Now we understand none of the cases at Drew Charter School appear to be linked to the school. Nonetheless, they are investigating. As for the children being quarantined, we understand they have a plan in place. Virtual learning starts Monday. Reporting in Atlanta tonight, I'm Patty Pan, Fox 5 News. They are monitoring the situation and will share more information as it develops. Yeah, that's, I don't know what that is. The outer limit. Forth right now and with an executive order and you make it clear, there will be no mass mandate in the school system in the state of Georgia. Yeah. Some parents tell me they will bite the bullet and have their kids mask up come August 4th. Others plan to remove their children from Gwinnett County Public Schools. If you feel like you need to wear a mask, I am all in support of that. But if you feel like that you, your children can't breathe, they should be able to take their mask off. The organizers of this protest tell me they have filed a lawsuit against the school district. Parents will have until Monday to decide if their child will learn virtually or in person two days before classes start. In Gwinnett County, Brian Hill, Fox 5 News. 
and put the brakes on street racing in the area. The money will also pay for four additional officers specifically assigned to the unit, along with overtime pay for others assigned to the group. Well, the Justice Department has ordered the IRS to turn over President Donald Trump's tax returns to Congress. In a memo released today, the department's... ...the airlines. It's been long enough. Mark Drury isn't buying the excuse. More than 400,000 passengers per year. Drury and his wife booked a Delta flight through ASAP tickets to visit their daughter in Brussels. They paid $2,300, and that included insurance. But seven months after COVID canceled the flight, they're still waiting for a refund, even after we got involved. All they've been doing is stringing us along, stringing us along. And, and my wife, who's been dealing with the majority of this, will tell you that uh, they were nice when we were buying the tickets. Uh, and then when we stopped and wanted either some kind of satisfaction, that's when the communication just literally dropped off the map. For those of you who don't know, the Department of Transportation made it mandatory for the airlines to issue refunds for COVID canceled flights. Delta is obligated to issue the refund, but not to the Drury's because ASAP purchased the tickets from Delta. The refund goes to them. A refund ASAP didn't even request until we got involved a couple of weeks ago. The San Francisco-based company claims they are waiting for Delta to mail them the check, saying, we are sorry and we understand this is very frustrating for the customer. We have not heard back from Delta on the refund status. Another ASAP ticket employee writes, this does not depend on us. Yes, it does, because Delta confirmed this morning that it sent ASAP tickets, the Drury's refund, six weeks ago. The entire sidewalk is blocked by scooters. I can't go down that walkway because those scooters in my way. It's implanted. I was an only child. Your mother's name was Celinda. Your father you never knew. Your mother worked two jobs. One at the daycare, the other at Eli's Deli, five miles north of Los Alamos. I remember all those things. It's my childhood. They're my memories. I implanted them. That's impossible. I was there. You ran away when you were 12. You learned to drive when you were 14 when you stole your cousin's car. You lost your virginity to an overweight girl named Tina when you Stop. were... Stop! started stocking up on ammunition, which added to the already booming sales. Now, the shortage is so bad, some officials say police academies are having trouble obtaining ammo. Kelly? Coming up in sports, the Braves taking on the Brewers. Let me come with you, Kurt, and I'll protect you. You need somebody here to guard the ship, all right? You're a goodie. 